Hello, good morning, Chuck Adelphia. This is Chuck coming to you for Infinite English Academy and Chuck Adelphia. And today I wanted to talk to you about brewing or making coffee. Now, brewing is the uh, verb to brew is the verb that talks about how we mix coffee with water. Okay, and we also use brew for beer as well and tea. Okay, so if you have coffee or if you want to serve coffee first, you have to brew or make coffee. And there are several ways to make coffee. And I wanted to talk to you about the vocabulary words related to brewing coffee. Okay, now many people like to just boil water and mix instant coffee in with their coffee. And some people use a French press. Okay, but I like to use a coffee maker. All right, and that's what we're going to talk about. So first, let's look at what we're going to need here. Okay, so right here, we have the filter, okay? And you'll notice in there, I don't have coffee beans, okay? It's because we don't actually make coffee beans. What we do is we crush them so that they're small, right? And what we call this is ground coffee. These are called coffee grounds, okay? So we put the coffee grounds into the filter, okay? And then we add a very special ingredient. Not many coffee drinkers uh, do this. This is something I learned from my dad actually. Add a little salt. Add a little salt in there to bring out the flavor of the coffee. Okay? So we have perhaps the most important thing and the second important thing is obviously you gotta have your water, right? So we're gonna come over here, okay? And I'm gonna walk over to the coffee maker okay and we're going to put this in here right okay I'm going to close the top and now we're going to go get the water okay you get the water and come back over here and we're going going to now you could say put the water into the maker but this action is pour, P-O-U-R. So whenever you uh, take one liquid and put it into something else like a glass or a cup or even like a pot if you're going to boil something, you pour, you pour it into the container. So I just poured water into the coffee maker. So now I close the coffee maker and now Perhaps, perhaps this is the most important step, okay? You cannot make coffee this way unless you do this step. And that is to plug in the coffee maker, right? Because the coffee is not going to make itself. So we gotta plug it into the socket, okay? And that flashing 12 means it's ready to go. So we just turn on this button and press this button and now the coffee is brewing okay so that is the first step in coffee and come over here and now we talk about what comes after the coffee is brewed okay so many people like their coffee in different ways right so if you are at someone's house they may come to you and say would you like coffee you say yes and then they'll say how do you take your coffee well then you might have some options. You could say, uh, I take my coffee black. That means don't add anything, right? Then other people say they want some cream. Cream could be something called half and half, which is like cream and milk, right? Some people like milk, okay? Other people say they want cream or milk and sugar, okay? And then you can just look in there, you got your sugar. But then sometimes people say they want sweetener, okay? Sweetener. And sweetener is simply Splenda, equal, stevia, anything of that nature. It's a, a sugar substitute, okay? But then here, we also have something that is called creamer, okay? Some, some other places have this. In, I know in some places they have powdered milk, which is like a substitute for creamer. But here, we have creamer, 
there are different brands that do this. And so basically, if you don't want to add sugar or sweetener, you can put creamer. Creamer is that mix of cream or milk and a little bit of a sweet taste to it. Okay, so as you'll see over here, the coffee is brewing. And in a few moments, I'm going to have that wonderfully delicious cup of coffee. There are very few ways to start a day better than, having, than by having a cup of coffee, a nice hot cup of coffee. And maybe you have some wonderful memories of drinking coffee with friends. Many people like to go on dates for coffee. Many people have coffee while they discuss important business. They have coffee with their families and stuff. I remember some great memories of having coffee with my grandfather and my grandmother at their house a long time ago over some wonderful conversations. So uh, I wanted to put together this video for those of you that are coffee drinkers, coffee lovers. And I hope you have learned some important vocabulary here. And uh, I hope that if you enjoy a cup of coffee, I hope you listen to my word when I say salud, okay? And enjoy your cup of coffee because it's great. Okay, this is Chuck checking in for Chuckadelphia and Team Infinite English Academy. Okay, you have a wonderful day. Thank you for tuning in. Ciao, ciao.